We're gonna make some carne asada fries today. We're gonna to start with a delicious smoked salsa. We're going to make, grill up this marinated overnight bag of delicious meat on the, oh, Mike just got hit by some snow. <laughs> and then we are going to make it on the Apex and then we're gonna fry some fries and put it on top. How does that sound, Mike? A lot of new seasonings that are coming out here really soon and they're gonna be really good. We're going to use the Mexican one today and we're just going to drizzle on, on top of all of our vegetables just to kind of give it a little bit more, a little something, something. We are going to pull it out. We're going to finish the salsa. We're going to leave it overnight in the fridge and then we're going to come back tomorrow and finish it off. A little bit of lime juice. To add a little bit more. So. It's the next day. It's actually two days later, fun fact. Okay, so normally carne asada is marinated in some sort of like acid that helps like break it down and make it a little bit more tender and juicy. Normally it's like orange juice or like Tampico I've heard some people use, but we didn't have any of that. So I found some pickled jalapenos that we had and then I just poured some of that juice in here alongside some soy sauce to make it a little bit saltier and also some of our Mexican seasoning. So we are going to go ahead and throw this on the grill, sear it up, we have it blazing hot. We have it like as hot as it'll go. And we, cause we want it to sear the outside while leaving the inside like a nice medium, medium to medium rare. So to make sure we get great grill marks, I've already flipped it over once. What we're gonna do is we're going to take it and then we're going to flip it the opposite direction of the way we had it the first time so we get those cool little cross, cross hatches. So we have our oil almost at 400 degrees, which is a little higher than when I want it because that's because once we add all the fries it's going to get colder because because they're frozen we're just going to throw these in let them get crispy now that we're about done with the fries we're going to take them out and then we need to immediately season them and i'm going to season them with salt and with rosemary and with garlic powder and the reason you have to season them right as they come out because they're still hot they're still kind of sticky from all the oil and that allows everything to bond to them really well We've had this resting for about 10 minutes now, so I think we're about ready to cut into it. So we're cutting exactly against the grain. Hey Kyle. Yeah. What's that over there? What? what? You silly goose, Mike. Car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pile on some fries and then I'm going to top it with some meat and then I'm going to put on a bunch of little extras. We have like onions and we have parsley. We have the salsa that we made yesterday and squeeze a fresh lime over the top and then we're going to eat it because it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Big part ranch. I have this hatch green chili hot sauce. We'll throw that in there too. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Let's give it a little, little taste of roux. We gotta make sure we get one of everything. So we want a little bit of onion, some lunch, some meat, some fry, a little bit of sauce, a little cotija. <clears throat> Ole. And if you wanna see me make more things, go ahead, check on, click on this video right here. I made wings. We found the scientifically best way to make wings. Me and Mike, we both tried them out. And this is the best way to make them. So if you wanna make some wings on the Apex Grill, go check that video out. And until next time, Peace out.